Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 58, using the aqua color for shadows and highlights. Hey everybody, I'm in Milwaukee, Oregon, and I'm going to be doing uh, one of my oldest accounts, Mike's Drive-In. I've been doing him for 28 years. So it's going to be fun and exciting because we're going to do some really cool Halloween stuff. All right. In this video, I cover a lot of stuff. I'm going to talk about chalk, how I used to use chalk. And um, you can also use sidewalk chalk, but this is called railroad chalk. And um, they also have, comes in half round type, uh, type pieces too that you can run your chalk lines through. That's what people do with it. But this is a stick chalk here. And uh, I don't do this anymore, but I wanted to show you since I had some chalk left over from the job I did in Las Vegas. So anyway, I'm getting started here just as usual. I got it sped up because you've seen this over and over. I'm drawing in the wet paint. And uh, I'm doing kind of a kind of knockoff of the Adams Family characters because it's family night at um, Mike's Drive-In. And uh, it's October and so it's a Halloween theme. So that fit perfect. I slowed it down here a little. I'm doing, here I'm doing the Gomez character. And uh, just so you can see how I do it, like I <clears throat> draw on the paint with my finger. And then sometimes if I don't like something, I just take the roller out and I, I just go like that and change it. Like right there, I go over his hair because I didn't like the hairline. And then I just redraw it. So, you know, you don't, really don't have to worry about messing up unless it's a really hot day. And then the... <laughs> Paint dries so fast, you don't have time to redraw and stuff because the paint's drying. But it's a pretty moderately cool day, and I'm in the shade. So, oh, it's trippy. Look at all those birds flying by in slow motion. This is actually slowed down twice as slow. So, because I wanted you to see how I work going in with the roller, going in with the razor, and then redrawing. Because I've had some people, subscribers recently ask me about it. They were asking me if I could show more in detail. So I slowed it down a little so you could see how I'm working. And I have another video too that talks about other ways of uh, getting your design on the window too, like with grease pencil and stuff. So I'm just speeding it up here because you've seen, seen me do that. So. so you can see here I've got the first base coat finished and you can see all the details and stuff of their faces. And now I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the second coat really quick. Not quite that quick, I did speed it up. <laughs> So you can see, like I've talked about this before, you can see, even with the second coat, where to place your colors and stuff. So now I'm getting my light blue or teal color. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go in. And uh, now her face, I guess this, this is the Morticia character. Her face is gonna be white and so is Wednesday's face. So I'm just using a lot of the blue and uh, putting in all the shadows and stuff. And around her eyes, that's her eyelid. And underneath her eyes too, a little. And this is a, this is a one inch foam brush, which I'm used to using. You can turn on in or you can get the corner, get some fairly fine lines. Here I'm going on the bottom of the lip, and when the red gets painted over that, you'll see how it produces a darker red color for a shadow. But you can use finer brushes too. You can get little small flats and those single stroke brushes like eighth inch or even tinier to do all the details. And this is, I think his name's Pugsley, or I don't know if that's the Munsters kid's name. But this is going to be a red and white shirt, and I'm drawing in the shadows. And I'm going to show you later, too, like 
once I paint the red over this, how it uh, it creates a a red shadow. It's really cool, and it's it's a quick quick way to do it. So I painted the flesh colors in, but see how I'm painting in the red now, and and look at as the as the red goes over the blue. You see that there? It creates a, a whole darker color. So you, it's great for you if you're doing stripes or just you want to put shadows and stuff. It also works like if you're using li other like colors that aren't really saturated, like that's lime green over white and then lime green over the blue. And then that's on the bottom lip like I talked about. You can see how it's darker. So I don't have to paint that color in. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint in the black and then I was, I'm going to show you the highlights like how I highlight the black with the very same color. So here's my color again and this time I'm, I added a little water to it to thin it down for the highlight. I'm kind of cleaning up around uh, Wednesday's head because I want it to be clean before I start doing the highlights. Now this is a different brush. I'm actually using a smaller, I think this is a like a Utrecht brush, maybe an eighth inch or something, or even smaller. I've been experimenting with different brushes lately, you know, and you should do the same thing too. Just try different things and see what works for you. This is in real time here. And then now I'm just going to speed it up because you get the idea. I use this like when I do crows and bats and black cats and witches hair and witches hats and witches clothing. Anything black. It's cool doing black because you don't have to do shadows. Here I am, I'm just going in and like I normally do and I'm doing the black outline. I just sped it up. Because you've seen me do outline and outline and outline. <laughs> you know I do it and seen me do it. I love doing it. Well, here's the finished design. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll keep making them, you keep watching them. <laughs> Here's a little music and some pictures of uh, some other parts of the store I did there at Mike's. See you later. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.